What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of In the NASCAR. This episode's going to be a big one. We're going to be talking about Storehouse Racing, video games, and Joe Gibbs Racing. So yeah, first let's start off with the Joe Gibbs Racing news. Joe Gibbs has announced that he sell um, a minority of the team, Joe Gibbs Racing, to Harris Blitzer Sports and Entertainment. It's run by Josh Harris, and he and um, he's basically now, he's about to be old, like some sort of old co-owner of the Washington um, Washington football team. Which is the same team Joe Gibbs coached. Now technically, now that group, um, they are with the, with the Philadelphia 76ers, the NBA team, and the New Jersey Devils, the NHL team. So, yeah. What does this mean for Joe Gibbs Racing? I have a lot of positive things to say. First of all, I think funding is going to be a thing. I think there's going to be a lot more um, resources and um, resources coming in, and it's going to really help out the team, in my opinion. So, Joe Gibbs is actually what he's doing right there was really smart, and um, yeah, I think this is a well worth worth it for Joe Gibbs Racing, you know. So, yeah, but don't worry, Joe Gibbs is still the majority owner of Joe Gibbs Racing. They're still going to keep it Joe Gibbs Racing. It's just now they've sold like just a minority of it. Through the Harris Blitzer Sports and Entertainment Group. So, yeah, this is going to be big. This is big news, obviously, for Joe Gibbs Racing. Joe Gibbs Racing is one of the most biggest groups, biggest teams in NASCAR, right? NASCAR. So, yeah. Um, so, Joe Gibbs Racing, um, what this kid, this is really good for them. I uh, hope, you know, this is really good for them. They'll make some really good progress. And, um, yeah. So, this is really great news for them. Just, 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 this is really great news for them, and a lot of positive things over there. So, yeah, Joe Gibbs Racing, JJR. Um, Joe Gibbs is now basically the owner of one of the minority owners of the of the um, Philadelphia Philadelphia Seventy Sixers and the New Jersey Devils. I can include the Washington Football Team as well. <clears throat> so, well. I call them the Washington football team. Washington Commanders. That was the name I was looking for. So, yeah. Yeah. Big news for, for Joe Gibbs Racing. So, um, yeah. Now let's talk about the announcement that just recently happened involving with Stuart Haas Racing. And it's official. Josh Berry will drive the number four next year. And this is well deserved. Josh Berry has, has proved that he is Cup Series ready. And... In the Xfinity series, sure, he hasn't won a race yet. Yes, I know the team is having, you know, a lot of um, struggles right now. And, um, yeah, um, this obviously gives me to take a big step forward. Hopefully, Josh Berry, Josh Berry is the main guy they're looking, looking up forward to right now. Um, so, yeah, it's to hopefully rebuild that group, rebuild that organization, and make it into a, make it into a better team, so... Yeah, this is a very big opportunity for Josh Berry. I'm very happy he gets this ride. Very happy for Josh Berry. Obviously, Kevin Harvick's obviously very happy about this. Um, knowing that they have to choose a really great driver. Storhaus, Tony Stewart said that Josh Berry was a good fit. Or almost a perfect fit for the Ford car. So, yeah, I'm very, very happy for Josh Berry that he gets this opportunity. And... So, yeah, Storehouse Racing right now <clears throat> is literally not good. Not looking good at all. So, um, yeah. Um, I gotta say, <clears throat> this is a really, um, sorry, really amazing moment right here for any Josh Berry fans out there. He's going to Cup Series racing full-time next year. He's going to be a rookie. Well, there's Thunder, guys. So, yeah, Mother Nature is starting to strike again. <laughs> wow. So... Yeah, um, I gotta say, this is really great news, um, Josh Berry, man, I wanna see what other rookies are gonna come in the Cup Series next year, so, yeah, I'm obviously really happy, he did get some Cup Series experience this year, with substituting for drivers like Chase Elliott and Alex Bowman over Hendrick Motorsports, now he's switching over to Ford with Sturhaus Racing, so, obviously, Ronnie Childers is still gonna see, oh god, I just saw a lightning strike, okay, so, yeah. Obviously, Ronnie Childress is still going to be over there, uh, still working, still going, um, still um, on the crew chief for, for the four car, for the four team. So that's really good. That's really good for Josh Berry. Ronnie Childress has said that he was a Josh Berry fan. 
So that's really good. That's really good for them if they, you know, I have a feeling they're going to get along so good, guys. They're going to get along so well. So, yeah. Josh Berry will, will be replacing Kevin Harvick next year. I expect this news. I I, I knew what I knew this was going to happen. We we heard we heard the talks, we heard the rumors, we heard all the reports. Yeah, so yeah, it's we knew that this was going to happen. Josh Berry to the four car next year. Very happy for Josh Berry. Very excited for him. Hopefully, you know, he does good in his solid in his rookie season. I have, you know, I have confidence. I I don't really expect him to make the playoffs next year. I think he's more... I expect Josh Berry to finish in the top 25 in points. Around from 17th to around 25th. That's where I expect Josh Berry. Um, next year. So. Yeah. So, now let's talk about video games. And, yeah. Video games. There's been a lot of games. Um, there's been a lot of news involving NASCAR video games. That first up is the big news regarding the... Um, NASCAR E5, um, the, the DLC for the next gen car has finally been released. Um, it will be out tomorrow. Um, I already, if you guys saw my community post, I already told you that it's out available for consoles now. Um, it will be released tomorrow. So, yeah, um, it will be unlocked tomorrow. So, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that news. And Motorsport Games really, you know, has been really been slow with this car. If you, if you want to know if I'm going to get it or not, I'm probably not going to. Because it's just, this, this um, is really outdated. Because it's the, the update's 2022 and not 2023. Now, if it was 2023, I'm definitely getting that. If, it was, if it's 2023, then yeah. If they have any kind of 2023 update, then I will get it. It's just now it's, since it's 2022. And since I already have a NASCAR game, NASCAR Rivals, that was for 2022 for the Nintendo Switch. I'm not gonna probably not gonna get it, so yeah. Unless if it's really, really, really good. Unless I see some actual gameplay footage. Yeah. Yes, and they do have the tracks like Bristol Dirt and the other tracks in there too. So yeah, for the 2022 schedule. But now let's uh, get down to the actual brand new game that's supposed to come out later in the day, later in the year, and that is NASCAR Arcade Rush. That's right, guys. NASCAR Arcade Rush. It's not an official. It does have NASCAR logos on it, but it's not an official license. I'm not sure if it's, it's just not it's just not a official license video game where you get the drivers and the actual tracks and you know. So yeah. Well obviously, you know, I'm planning on getting this either for the Nintendo Switch or for the PS5. Because I do have a PS5. Literally like right over there. Because I do have a PS5, so yeah. And I've seen the, some of the screenshots with some some of the pictures, and it looks really looks like an arcade style. Kind of looks like a Mario Kart vibes. Gives me Mario Kart vibes. So, but I need to see some gameplay footage first. So yeah, I need to look up gameplay footage if it's when it's when it's getting close. So yeah, we should be getting gameplay footage like at some point in the next few months or something like that. So yeah, um, I'm actually curious to see how it plays. So, yeah, talking about the game footage. Well, looking, hopefully the game footage gets released at some point. So, yeah. But the thing is, it goes at $50. $50 for that arcade NASCAR game. That, um, really just... I mean... I mean, I, NASCAR, I mean, they're trying to... I'm props to NASCAR, okay? They're trying things. They're trying things. And this no, it may not be licensed... Gosh, dang, I saw another lightning strike. Okay, it is completely storming back there. Okay, so it ain't raining, it's just thunder and lightning. So, yeah. Uh, I felt that. So, yeah, anyways, um, man, really interesting video. <laughs> okay, so the NASCAR video game, NASCAR Arcade Rush, it's gonna be just like an arcade game, like the games you usually find in like arcades and stuff. Which is actually pretty cool. I'm, I mean, I'm, oh, I'm good with arcade games. I'm great with arcade games. So I may actually get this. I'm either going to get, depending on it, depending, depends on how it looks. I may either get it for both the Nintendo Switch and the PS5, or just the Switch or the PS5. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens, guys. And I got to say, NASCAR on the cover, on the cover of NASCAR Arcade Rush, you have the Gen 7 car with the, with the, with the car of tomorrow and... One of the early cars, like a Generation 3 car. 
So, yeah. Obviously, it looks like an arcade game. And I think, you know, and uh, $50? Hmm. I don't think this is going to be a really one of the most popular ones. The one I compare NASCAR Arcade Rush to will be like NASCAR Unleashed back in like the early 2010s. So, yeah. Um, yeah, guys, so that's really um, all I have to say. Um, Joe Gibbs Racing has signed, um, well, it's, um, sold a minor minority of Joe Gibbs Racing to the, the Harris Blitzer Sports Group or whatever it's called. Um, Joe Gibbs Racing sold a minority of the team. Um, Josh Berry has officially has a, is officially driving number four car replacing replacing for Kevin Harvick next year, and some video game news. So, yeah. So um, yeah, obviously the NASCAR the new NASCAR video game coming out. I'm glad I, I'm glad at least there's something that's kind of NASCAR related because it does have NASCAR logos. But hmm, it sucks that we don't have um drivers, actual licensed drivers. Like you can't play as Danny Hamlin, Bubba Wallace. Joey Logano, Kyle Busch, wherever, and can't at, at um not officially track official tracks like Talladega, um whatever track there is in NASCAR right now, any track in NASCAR right now. So, yeah. So guys, what do you guys think about all these breaking news stories and all these topics? Let me know down in the comments below. And anyways, this is Preston signing off. Peace out.